The seemingly innocent Flash game has a very, very dark theme. Hello there, internet dwellers. My name is Baz and welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to three Discord submissions. If you're not a member of my Discord, consider joining it down below. There is a link, click that. If you've got something scary to send me, pop it in the Scare Baz submission channel. If I react to it, I will give you a shout out. So today we have a digital horror, which is what this video is titled about. I thought I'd put this one first, you know, treat you, you know, not, not make you wait Wait for it. Then the second one is a FNAF VHS, which is really good. And the third one is Dark Mind, uh, a, an analog horror about humanoids. So look forward to that. Be sure to check out all the content creators. They will be linked in the order that I watch them down below. Go like the video, watch their videos, comment some positive stuff, spread positivity, guys. That's what I encourage. And without further ado, we're going to jump straight into this. So the first video we're going to be looking at is called Ms. May's Doctor's Office Digital Horror Short. And this is by Inky. This was submitted to me on my Discord by Anna, so thank you for the submission, Anna. I do appreciate it. The description reads as follows. So you know those really weird girl, Girls Go Games-esque Dr. Flash games with really nasty red spots and green stuff everywhere? That kind of feels like it's borderline fetish content. I wanted to take that setting, or I guess game in this case, and try to compensate... Compens the, the irony that I can't say that word correctly. Competently, have it be dark, but not overkill. This project was also very short, so it's not the greatest thing in the world. This was based off Lacey's Wardrobe. So it seems like Lacey's Wardrobe kind of spans this new genre. I guess the genre has already kind of been out there. Digital horror has been around, I guess, for a while, but maybe first thing that will come to mind is Lacey's Wardrobe. In terms of like the Flash games and stuff, because Digital Horror has been around, Lacey's Wardrobe is like the Flash game. It's like a subgenre of Digital Horror. So before we get into this, this is the warning. I'm not going to read this out loud because um, YouTube might do something silly to me. But th that's your warning there. Read it. If you're comfortable with that, we're going to jump in. I don't think it's that bad. Um, I kind of had a little skim through. I, don't, I didn't want to see like actual real stuff, which, you know, that would be weird. Ms. May's doctor's office. Play. Inky Blinky's a shitty little doctor game. Come on, man. That's no way to talk about your, um, your creation. Ms. May is the best doctor around, but sometimes she needs help. How Ms. May... But excuse me, I was reading that. How Ms. May properly treat the wounds of the patients. If you don't clean the wounds, they could get infected. That's no good. Tip, click and drag the cursor to treat the wounds. Okay. It's such a nice day outside. I bet a lot of children are playing out. You would click. How fast is your reading capabilities? Oh dear, it looks like someone hurt themselves. Wow, Miss May, I hit my head. Oh dear, that's no good. Let's patch you up. It's time to treat an injury. First clean the injury, then put the bandages on. You got this, champ. Okay, clean it out with a bit of uh, cotton ball, bit of uh, disinfectant or whatever it's called. Pop a plaster on there. You know, <laughs> I had a um, a scab on my head here. Well, I actually like opened up some skin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's what I used to do as a kid. I was fucking weird. I used to put my head on the desk, my forehead on the desk, right, of my school. I used to run it side to side like that, but it would bump up and down as I did it. <laughs> and it would just rip the skin off. And I remember having a scab on my forehead that looked like a dog. I don't know. I didn't think about it at the time. I don't know why I did what I did. Maybe that's why I'm, I have idiotic, you know, moments. What the hell is wrong with me? All done. Be careful when playing outside, okay? I will promise. Thank you, Miss May. Oh, what did that just say? That rhymed. This is like a freaking uh, Dr. Zeus. It says, it said something. Thank God she was just playing outside. Oh, it looks like we have someone else to treat. Ms. May, I scraped my arm really bad. Don't, real, don't worry, kiddo. I'll patch you up. We'll patch him up, okay? Oh, good God. Yeah, you really did. You want a bandage for that, mate? Not a plaster. Surely you want a bad. That's multiple. Oh, well, I don't know. What do I know? What do I, I'm not a doctor. All done. Be careful when playing outside, okay? I will. Thanks, Ms. May. Phew. Okay, that should be all the patients for today. Hmm, there's someone else waiting? Ah dear, a shame, so many get hurt. Bring them in, nurse. 
well, she, he, she has definitely been through the ringer. That's for sure, right? I mean, they're, they're not looking good. It's not looking, they look like they've been attacked. What happened? Oh, this is Dr. Para and we're Ms. May. I don't know. Oh, look, there's someone watching it in. So they're, ma they're making sure that they don't talk. Oh, that's... M you know what's mad about this is that it happens, man. It happens. I remember uh, this is very dark right now, but there was a, um, a case years ago. I remember when I think I was in secondary school called Baby P, I think it was. And the, uh, the parents were just abusing this kid. The child services would come around and they'd cover the kid's face in like ice cream or something to make it, to cover the bruises on the face. They were like beating their child and this baby couldn't speak. And then eventually the baby was killed. Um, the spine snapped or something. I don't know, it's, it's really dark. But you'll be happy to know that the guy who did all that um, had boiling hot water thrown in his face and he's beaten up on it. I don't know what actually happened to him, if he's still alive or not, but I, uh, he, he basically suffered. He's suffering for what he did, that's for sure. She fell down the stairs. Oh. That's one hell of a fall. Yeah, I mean, you've 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 gashed your arms. I don't I don't know like a fall was capable of this. Even falling from great heights, unless you like fell through a freaking shredder. Fuck, he's still watching. If she says something, no doubt she'll get treated worse. What do I do? Do I call the cops? That was a great little pause there. I didn't even. Hang on, is there something else there? Okay, no, we're good. Don't worry, kiddo. I'll patch you up. What the hell's happening? Hello? Oh, my alarm's gone off. Sweetheart, are you okay? Do you want me to call the cops? Please don't. God, I mean, I think it's... I'm going to read the comments after this because I think there are comments about like people being doctors and stuff and what they do in situations like this. What do you want me to do? You don't have any other family? Is that man even your father? He is, and I don't. Don't say anything or... He... He, he will kill her. Unfortunately, like, you need to speak up if you're in an abusive relationship, though, because it happens, like, you get abused, and then they, they're very manipulative, they're very good at bringing you back and gaslighting and making it feel like it was your fault, and they'll bring you back, and it will just keep getting worse, and, like, it always ends in a very, very, very serious injury or death. So, my advice, if you... If you're in an abusive relationship, this is this is really dark right now, but if you're in an abusive relationship, you need to seek help. There is help that you can get. Don't be afraid. He's going to kill me. Yeah. Please, if you truly care about me, don't say a fucking word. Jesus! Yeah. Fun times. Broken glass shards. Good God. Deep cuts and bruises. What does that say? Deep cuts and bruises. Most can only be inflicted by a person. Some have nail marks. Ugh. God, this is nasty, isn't it? It's very dark. Okay, but you know, on this channel, we gotta get real sometimes. You know, we gotta, we gotta cover these things. We can't pretend that these things don't happen. As long as you do something about it. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Para. We're leaving now. Thanks for patching the kid up. She's a real troublemaker, this one, let me tell you. Yeah, I, I bet. Dude sounds like Satan. Sounds like something from Banjo-Kazooie. Christ, I have to get home. Well, this is a fun little game for your child to play online. Nice little flash game. I'm worried about her. That must be hard when stuff like that happens. 
Like, I feel like you are obligated to say something. If you feel like the, the a patient's life is in danger, you need to call the police. I feel like that is maybe a, um, an, an oath. I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried. Should I have done something? But what could I even do? I should have called the authorities, but she knows best and she's living in it. She said it would get worse. That makes sense. But oh God, what if she got hurt again? Did I make it seem like I knew I was trying to be discreet? What if she's hurt? What if he's doing things to her? What should I do? Should I do anything? Oh God, I hope she's safe. I hope she's okay. Please God, let her be okay. Let her be safe. I hope to God she's safe. And then she broke into song and dance. If this ends with a newspaper article about a girl dying. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, what was that little uh, transition there? Oh, it's Dr. Power and Miss May. Okay. Thanks for playing Ms. May's doctor's office. TM, play again. Well, you know what? That was a good video. That was a very good video. I'm going to like this. Very good video there, Inky. Keep up the amazing work. I'm going to subscribe. Hope to see more from you. So thank you for the submission as well, Anna. Let's move on to the next video. Oh, actually, no. Let's not move on to the next video just yet. Let's read this comment. Doctors and most, if not all, healthcare professionals are mandatory reporters. This means that if a doctor has reason to suspect that a patient is being abused, they are legally required to report it. If they don't, they can face jail time. This is also true of childcare professionals. I work in a hospital currently and used to work as a camp counselor and was a mandatory reporter in both settings. This video is very good and I think does a good job of depicting the anxiety of being someone in these scenarios. I just like to talk. There we go. So they would have to report it, which is good to know. There's loads of these little digital uh, short games. I see that it's a new subgenre of like digital horror. I can probably check these out another time. That'll be an interesting video, wouldn't it? We're going to move on now to the next video. Now, this video was recommended to me on my Discord once again. It's FFD Night Shift MOV FNAF VHS by Bodstore. It was recommended to me by Hellhound Clown. So thank you for the submission. But I have to say, I did watch Valox play, uh, watch this. Valox does reactions and this one caught my attention. I, I saw it and I was like, oh, you know what? This looks pretty cool. If it's scaring Valox, I'm going to react to it myself. So I don't really know much about it. I just kind of skimmed through. Okay, so this is what the description says. Recorded 24 10 1981. Mank is returning here again to record evidence of robot aggression. But why not show the previous cassette to the pizza place employees? Apparently it's really good, this one. So did I have captions? That's auto-generated. I don't trust auto-generated. It ruins the vibe. Hello? <laughs> oh, that guy you picked up, man. Mark? Oh, hey. Uh, how'd it go with Fredbear's? Well, a fucking nightmare, to say the least. Let me guess. A nightmare Fredbear. Are <laughs> walking? Well, the bunny thing literally chased me out of the building. Oh, shit. All that, and I didn't even find any... Oh, shit. <laughs> ...any clues about Jason. That was not worth it at all. Well, you recorded it, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Now listen, I need you to meet me at my place with the tape as soon as you can. The friend I was talking about, uh, his name's Reggie. He's on the maintenance team and he can help figure out why Bonnie was aggressive towards you. Okay. Is that a name? Yeah, Fred Bear and Bonnie. And oh, so it's Fred Bear's... Yeah, okay, FFD, Fred Bear's Family Diner, makes sense. Wait a second, are you gonna show that guy the tape? Well, it's evidence, right? Well, yeah, but they could put me in jail, man. Why? What happened? Oh, because you're breaking and entering. Okay. Well, let me just say, there's not really much of a door to the place anymore. Damn. God. Jeebus, James. Well, I had to kick it down. They could have killed me. Okay, then. I'll okay, then. Something and, uh, wait. Hold on. I got an idea. And what's that? Well, they've been looking for a guy to take the night shift to Fred Bears. Maybe you could fill the role. Oh, no way. <laughs> Are I am you not serious? I'm not going back to that death trap. <laughs> you don't want to get arrested, do you? Well, of course not. Here's my Whoa, he's blackmailing him with footage of breaking it in. But he's also an, an acquaintance. Idea. Right? You bring your camera to work, and if the animatronics act hostile towards you again, record it and show it to maintenance. Trust me, they're more likely to side with a security guard than a... Yeah, but I thought you said he recorded it anyway. ...random trespasser. Well, damn. You know what, James? You've got a point. Uh, I'm going to have to think about that. Take your time. All right. Also, it's Mac. Mac was the one that broke in. I don't know why I thought Mac was the other caller. Good night. It's me assuming things. You know what they say about assuming, guys? It makes an ass out of you and me. 
Okay, first night on the job. Jesus, he's talking through a megaphone behind the camera. <laughs> okay, so he's already been to this place. He already got chased out of this place. And now he decided, you know what, I'm going to get a job at this place. But I guess, is that guy blackmailing him? It's kind of she. Uh, fun, I guess. Okay, let me put the generated captions on. Let's just see. Okay, what? Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Can My God, well, it sounds like he's this this tape player or whatever, this answering machine's in the other room. And it, in a room that's in a church. I don't, that's my only kind of, I know it's, I know it's nitpicky, but that's my only kind of um, negative so far, is that, that that audio would be a lot closer and a lot clearer than it is showing. Unless the guy on the phone is recording from a, a distance, he's screaming. Another thing with this is that if you're going to have audio like this, I feel like you should put captions in there for the hard of hearing people. Because I'm having a hard time hearing this. Yeah, I'll die. I didn't understand a word of that. Like, I I didn't understand it, mate. I'm sorry. What is, what is this microphone on this camera? It's awful. That must be why the audio is just terrible. Uh! Man, that was quick. Wow. Well, you're dead, mate. See, I feel like distortion does work to a certain degree, but not to the point where you it's hard to understand what's going on. Right. Okay, well, that was interesting. I will say that it was good. I did like the animation, like the, 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 the camera movement, but the audio definitely could have done with some work is all I'm saying. But other than that, you know, I couldn't make something like this and I'm self-aware of that. It's just, I know what I would look for for me to really get immersed into something, I guess. Sound is a big one for me. And if, you, if you've got this sound where it's just completely distorted, then yeah, I think that the models look great. The animation was fantastic, but the sound could just been worked on a little bit better. Other than that, fantastic work the last video we're going to be watching today is by dark mind and it's called before you sleep informational tape analog horror the seventh tape from the basewood county series and we have watched the dark mind uh, series in the past uh, it's about these humanoids from basewood county i think they live in the woods somewhere in this apartment where they take people and they make them into humanoids or something like that from what i can remember this was recommended to me on my discord and it was recommended to me by dr slimbo so thank you for the submission. I appreciate it. This is the last video, guys. So if you did enjoy the content, be sure to go follow the creators down below. They will be linked in the order that I watch them. Go give them watch time, like the videos, all that good stuff. You know, leave a comment, give them some support. It would mean the world to them and to me as well. So here we go. Before You Sleep by Dark Mind. I feel like my soul is being dragged into that place. That place being the, the structure in the woods, I think. A parasite taking over my mind. I can't sleep anymore. I am going insane. Well, that's not good. 
Basewood County Police Department, BC. Welcome to Basewood County's informational tapes. Oh, come on. After many reports of lack of sleep, degrading mental health due to insomnia and night terrors, this tape will give you methods to have a healthy sleep and make a spiritual distance between you and me. A spiritual distance? Interesting. He needs to find God. Excuse me, sir. Take three steps back. Your breath stinks of shit. Look at that face. That's a face only a mother could love. Are you still awake? Are you still awake? And even now, this means that you go to sleep at 10 p.m., 12 a.m., 2 a.m. and avoid the odd hours as they may put you at risk of the wanderer effect, which makes you sleepwalk. Interesting. The wanderer effect. Look at the clock before sleeping. Is it ticking? Is it ticking? Okay. Or is it stopped? What if it stopped? Get the battery checked. That's all I say. Ah! Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm trying to sleep. Weirdo. Imagine that. You're waking up and you see that. Four. Bury your consciousness. Let Bet them in. What? Whose side are you on? That's very, um, Stanley Coop. You're right there, mate. He looks like me when I wake up. That's just an average look right there. Oh my god. Ah! You're right, mate. Basewood County. So what? You go to sleep on even numbers before you sleep. An analog horror by Dark Mind. Well, that was interesting. Those humanoid faces are horrific. I gotta say, that's one thing Dark Mind is good at, is those humanoid faces. Um, love is the sweetest thing. Subscribe, or I will come for you. Well, we're luckily we're subscribed already. So, hey, who's this guy? This is Seven Updates 1964 Godzilla Analog Horror by... That's amazing. You guys should go check that video out. That's crazy, man. That's awesome stuff. Well, there we go, guys. That was the last video by Dark Mind. Be sure to go, like I said before, like all the videos shown today. Subscribe to all the content creators. Leave a comment, nice supportive comment, you know. Loki, what are you looking at? My cat's around the corner like this, just looking at me. So this is Gizmo. A lot of people get confused. This is Gizmo. And that, you can't see Loki, but Loki's off camera in the doorway, just peeking his head around the doorway. There we go, guys. Like I said, go and subscribe to all the creators. Like the video. Hey, Loki, come say hello. Yeah, look at the boy, man. Yeah, look at my boy. Mine. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe? All that good stuff. Thank you for the support as always, guys. It means the world to me. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.